A civil society organization has told government to get tough on corporate companies who have not been paying their fair share of taxes. Speaking on the 2022 budget expectations, Contact Trust Youth Association Executive Director Ronnie Jere says Zambians are currently carrying the heavy burden of taxes when multinational companies are not paying taxes reflective of their profits. Mr. Jere adds the 2022 budget will further uh, be a test of UPND's promises, which they told Zambians that they will imp implement on once voted into power. He points out employment opportunities as one such promise, which young people were told to expect if the UPND were to win. Hence, every youth is eagerly waiting for this to happen. The high as Friday, the day when the 2022 budget was presented, draws closer and various stakeholders have weighed in on what the budget should address. Ronnie Jerry is the executive director of Contact Trust Youth Association who feels tax regime in the country must aim at compelling big companies to pay their fair share. He says ordinary Zambians have been subjected to a lot of taxes when multinational companies enjoy tax holidays. Then the other issues on taxes, we know that uh, you know a common Zambian is being taxed heavily. But these multilateral companies, these mining companies, uh, these big, big companies, they're given tax breaks. You know, how are we going to balance up these issues? Why not tax people that are already rich? And, uh, you know, cushion it on our own people. Look at how much a civil servant is taxed. You know, uh, people are taxed even up to more than 35% of their salaries, you know, which is not a very good thing. So I want to see how they will be able to, to, to help uh, in addressing these, these issues. So then uh, also, I think generally, we also want to see how, uh, you know, they will put in money to alleviate or support small and medium enterprise. On youth empowerment and opportunities, Youth Party for National Development Livingston District Youth Chairperson Gerard Kuyawana is optimistic that the 2022 budget will aim at addressing job creation. But this Friday is going to finally issue the long-awaited UPND first budget uh, through the Minister of Finance, Mr. Uh, Honorable Dr. Stumbe Komsokutwani. We are all, as youth Livingston, want to support this budget. And as usual, uh, a lot of youths are expecting a lot, one, in terms of uh, youth empowerment uh, and also job creation and also what the government can do, of course, that is maybe deployment of teachers, other civil servants. And so we, we want to hear the number that will be deployed and we are very confident the number is very going, going to impress a lot of young people that have already done teaching and other uh, and the Patriotic Front PF has also gotten into the mix by proposing that government should increase the allocation to the education sector. And uh, issues that I would like to see in that uh, budget is actually that is going to, to tackle uh, the issue of uh, education. As you may be aware that uh, education is very, very important in the, uh, the development of any country. Uh, so we want to see that the, the allocation uh, in this coming budget is actually uh, centered on education. Uh, we need to have enough allocation to ed education sector. And also, we, you know, when somebody is actually educated, and uh, this is a cry of the youth that uh, they are not employed. I think employment also uh, uh, employment creation also is very very important. The true picture of macro and microeconomics will be unveiled in the proposed budget. Muya Mukumbuta, Movie TV News, Livingstone. You're watching the news on Movie Television. We take a short break. We have more stories coming up thereafter. Stay tuned. <laughs>